Hello friends, today we'll be learning how to generate class diagram from code using Enterprise Architect 15. So basically this is form of an uh, reverse code engineering where you have the code maybe like legacy code or uh, so codes which you have copied from internet and you want to try to understand it by seeing their class diagram. This can be easily generated using Enterprise Architect. So in uh, I'll be using Enterprise Architect 15 which is the latest version. It is uh, slightly different from the previous version. Uh, we'll learn how to do it in this uh, version. So this is basically the enterprise uh, uh, architect 15 uh, open view. Basically, you can create a simple. Uh, you can go here and create a uh, new project, and it will basically add a model here. So once you go into the model, you can uh, right click and add a modeling. Uh, add the model using wizard. This is an uh, easier way to add the model. So once you click here. You will get different kinds of options of modeling. So since we are doing class diagram, you go into the class diagram and click on start a class diagram. This one is easier and click on create patterns. So basically it will add a uh, sample example of class diagram into your code. So basically we don't require this um, uh, sample ex uh, example here. So basically you can just uh, select all these uh, diagrams and just select the deleted one. So basically now you'll have a starter class diagram. So now basically you want to import your code into the starter class diagram. So, so for that you have to go into development and the option is here you have source code. So you basically want to import source code. So basically I'll be showing an uh, import then you can give import source directory. So basically I'm selecting a simple uh, Java example, uh, uh, example uh, code for this which is basically an observed pattern so you can even uh, change the option of uh, language here itself so basically all the dot java files will be picked up and the, you can keep the remaining options default it is basically to show the public uh, private and the member variables and the member functions in, into the class diagram or not and then just you have to hit the ok button it will automatically create the class diagram come let's go through the uh, observed pattern uh, class diagram how it has created so basically this is the observed pattern uh, class diagram and this system output window we don't require and let me maximize this so now basically there will be a simple observer class which is uh, inherited from an interface observer and a simple subject which uh, uh, is inherited from subject and it will contain the arrays array list of observers so basically this uh, subject can uh, register for an uh, uh, register the observer or no so basically this is a simple thing you can uh, understand the observer pattern easily so it will uh, automatically show you the uh, class diagram here so this is a nice thing uh, hope this helps for you thank you